Hello, I'm Vince White. I'm an employment attorney, and uh, they don't make them like they used to. Two Teamsters, two, have been terminated for not beating a guy up. That's a first. I, I kid, obviously. Um, I love the Teamsters. I sincerely love the Teamsters. Even if I wasn't afraid of Teamsters, I would still say I love the Teamsters. Um, and I'm just joking. The Teamsters are an amazing union. I, there are a lot of bad unions in the world. All unions are not created equal. And generally, I think the Teamsters do a better than average job. I think they are one of the most um, active and most likely to fight for you unions that are out there. And, you know, a lot of unions, especially in New York, are kind of, uh, they're just collecting dues. They're not really helping people, right? Um, the teachers union in New York would be a good example. They're not really helping people. They're collecting checks, right? But um, the Teamsters are not that way. And, uh, you know, I commend them for that as much as I kid around. So here we have a situation, and I will link the article down below. Two doormen who uh, were members of 32BJ, which is, you know, the, the parent organization. It's one of the, uh, one of the unions under the Teamsters. They, they're at work, and, you know, I guess an old, older woman, an older Asian woman, it's, it's relevant because there's a hate crime involved, is uh, walking down the sidewalk, right? And some guy runs up and physically attacks her. And it's not clear from the article or from the statements given whether the two doormen saw that or not. It seems like only a delivery person might have seen, seen this attack. Um, but this lady is, you know, she's beaten fairly badly, long enough, badly enough that it took some time to do this to her. And the doormen, whether they saw this or not, they did not go and intercede, right? And the management company for this building in New York City fired them for not interceding. And that leads me to make all my jokes about the Teamsters and they don't make them like they used to because, of course, Teamsters are famous for... Um, you know, back in the day, cracking some heads, right? That's, that's the kind of union we're talking about back in the day. Not anymore. Very legit. Very good. And I don't even think it was so bad they were cracking heads back in the day. I, maybe some of those heads needed to be cracked, right? Um, we do not support do not support organized crime or anything of the sort or violence. I'm just saying some unions fight for you, some don't, right? Um so these guys, you know, they're fired now. The management company fires them because they didn't run out into the street and get a fight, get in a fight. Whether they, we don't even know if they knew about this whole thing or not. <sighs> okay, so let's play it the other way. Let's say they run out in the street. They get involved in a physical altercation outside their workplace. It's on the sidewalk. W what's going to happen there? Well, one, do they get hurt? Two, if they get hurt, do they get workers' comp? Probably not. It's not actually part of their job duties to go get in a scuffle outside outside the workplace. Three, uh, let's say they do go out there. They don't get hurt. Best case scenario, they, they, they save this lady from some additional pain and suffering, which would be great, would be amazing. Uh, what happens to the doorman? Oh, yeah, they get fired. They definitely get fired for going out and having a fight, right? That's – are you insane in this day and age? Company would be like, oh, that's liability for us. You're definitely fired right and this let's let's be honest this isn't a city where you can't get a police officer to do anything right listen i know young people who have been walking across the street outside a police barricade police barricade full of police officers and a homeless person tries to stab them in the crosswalk and they run and the police watch that's new york city in 2020 2021 I know uh, we have a, a person here who was attacked on the subway and was able to get the cell phone of her assailant. She attacked very, very badly, harmed significantly, turns the cell phone over to the police. Presumably that cell phone identifies the assailant. Was he arrested? No. no he wasn't arrested. So we're not counting on the police. We don't hold the police accountable for helping people. That's not how New York City works. Don't, they're not there to help you. They're the NYPD. They're not there to help you. But the doormen, if they don't go risk their lives, their jobs, well, they're fired. 
What? Are you out of your are you out of your mind? Some do you know the job description for a doorman? You know what it's not? Run out in the street and fight for people to the death. That's what it's not. How stupid do you have to Yeah, would it be nice if we lived in a society where the laws and the way jobs worked allowed us to intercede and help people? Yeah, so we should fix our laws. These guys could have been, if God forbid they run out to help this lady and they seriously hurt the assailant, they could do time. Do I, would I applaud them for going out to help this woman? I would. I would say, oh my God, you are brave because you could have gotten hurt in that fight. You could have gotten killed. And now, even if you win, I don't know what the cops are going to do to you. <laughs> if you can get them to show up. And, and I don't know what your employer is going to do to you. But we want, we want to print articles, link down below, trying to attack these guys for making the judgment call that society forces on them, that the laws of this area force on them? No. No, they weren't that stupid. And it's not a reasonable ask. It's not. It's not their job. We didn't set the laws to let them do that. You're out of your mind.